missed, well, missed it by that much. Right? By that much, indeed. You know what? If you're go, uh, when you go to bed tonight, you want to grab that, grab that extra blanket, turn on the heater because mm -hmm. it's going to be a cold one, and, and most importantly, cover your plants and bring in your pets. Yes, please bring in those pets because it's going to be yeah. cold out there. We're in the 30s and the 40s. Some spots may be even dipping down to the upper 20s. A frost advisory, in effect, uh, for the Antelope Valley. That's going to kick in later today, and it's going to be lasting through tomorrow. You'll see right here a look for Mount Wilson. Mostly clear skies, a little bit of cloud coming cover out there, but for the most part, we are keeping things clear and we are keeping things very cool as well. Cool and windy. Wind is the word right now. Several wind advisories kicking up and you're going to see in the high desert right there in the Antelope Valley. We're looking at wind and about the teens or so other spots. It's uh, pretty mellow, pretty much at a standstill, but you'll see right here closer to the coast starting to kick up again to about 10 miles per hour. So several wind advisories for your valley locations. And again, don't forget that frost advisory in effect for the Antelope Valley into the overnight hours. Other than that, temperature is starting to drop down to the 40s and 50s already. Even a few 30s out there, no surprise, we're getting down into the low 30s, even the 20s. And this is what's going on a cold front, another one sweeping our way. So this is starting to move southward, still leaving us with cold air and cool temperatures. And over the next couple of days, low pressure is going to start to move eastward and take a look at what happens instead of that. High pressure takes its spot, so we're actually looking at a very nice warm up. And what's going on right now with the wind. Well, we're actually looking at the northeasterly winds kicking in those offshore winds kicking in with that high pressure as it starts to form. And with that, we will see a nice weekend warm up. So of course, we'll have that weekend forecast for you coming up in just a little bit. Do you want to take you through a few of your lows? First and foremost, you're going to see 40s for the most part, 45 in Santa Clarita over to Lancaster, 41 degrees, Apple Valley right at freezing 32 degrees, 51 in orange and finally stopping in in the Inland Empire. We're going to see temperatures there. Also into the 40s tonight, of course, Big Bear, much colder for you, 23 degrees. Just cold thinking about that and 44 in Hemet. So again, we are keeping it very cold tonight, cold tomorrow, but warmer this weekend. And we'll have that forecast for you coming up. Rick Sharon, back to you.